Oh, sure. recording audio and video is to gather yeah, evidence in case you're unlawful anyway. I just want to ask you today, are you on your oath of office? Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Are you on your oath of office are you today, serious? officer? Are you serious? No, I'm just asking what you mean by that. Well, are you acting on your oath of office? Are you going to stand on your oath of office today? Because under your oath of office, you have to, you know, adhere to our fundamental human rights and use discernment. So, we just so want to make obviously sure we will cheat you to your human rights. I just want to make sure you're on your oath oh, of office that, and I'd just like to take your name and your numbers before we talk. So I'm PC Griffiths, 30213. Thank you very much. I'm PC Fro, 30513. Sorry, say so, again. PC Fro, 30513. Oh, right, can I see your identity as well, please? Yeah, do you want to see my warrant card? Yes, thank you. Uh, right. So what's going on today then? Uh, we're seizing the building. Uh, do you want to speak to this gentleman here? This would be the perfect guy to speak to. So we're common law standing in Chester. Um, Article 61 has been invoked, and over the over the nation now, um, Lord, Ab Lord abiding citizens are now seizing public buildings, which have been usurped from us by the legislative government, which is not a lawful government. Common law is the, the law of the land. We stand under common law. Uh, today, we have de we have chosen this building because this building is supposed to be a public library. Uh, a public library belongs to the people. It's paid for by the people and therefore it should not be uh, usurped and placed into, placed into a, a commercial uh, profit-making organisation. It belongs to the people. The people pay for it. So, what we've done today, we've taken control of this, uh, of, of this building under Magna Carta 1215, um, which is our, uh, our right to do so as, as a law-abiding citizens. And what we want to do today is also use this opportunity to liaison with the police uh, in a public building, which we have, we have the right to be. No one has the right to, to remove us from this building unless we are committing a crime. If there's a crime, there has to be a victim. So we've done nothing wrong today. We've been very respectful. We've come in, we've, uh, we, we, we did what the owner said. We sat down uh, only to be met with a um, uh, Standoff. Hostile parking. <laughs> very, we got on my video as well. Very hostile, uh, very, very security hostile guard. Uh, attitude towards us in a public building which we paid for. And they're impersonating police officers. And they're impersonating police officers. We felt totally intimidated. Not only this, this happened last week, wasn't it? Yeah, last week. When, when, we, when we came as, as a group, just as a day out, we were, uh, they tried to force us to wear masks, where there is no law in this land that says we have to wear the masks even if the government brings out a bill that says we have to do so. Because under Magna Carta, we have nothing to do with legislation. Legislation is not law. Government cannot make law. Yeah, we already have the law. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll say it again, it's Magna Carta, it's not the um, And so therefore, we have the right to come in a building which we pay for, without harassment, without having to be made to force, forced to wear masks. Instead, we came in here to be harassed, to be forced to wear masks. Um, we want to know what's happened to our public library. It's been sold off, so we want the deeds back. The public library please. now yeah, is in a private building, being run as a business, which is totally uh, unlawful. We, we, we also uh, are in acknowledgement of the high treason that the government has committed uh, through the decades, uh, going back from uh, 1973, uh, when um, Ted Eve and his co-conspirators forced high treason by trying to sign us in, into the European Union, which is high treason. So everybody in the nation now who is standing under Magna Carta 1215, which Article 61 was invoked. So we've come here today with demands for the arrest of uh, Chief Inspector Gareth Wrigley, who is now Superintendent, we believe, Gareth Wrigley, and Chief Inspector Hankers, I believe, who's taken on the role of um, uh, Chief Inspector, which we, which we I'll put him on notice as well. So he knew about the acts of treason. He's done nothing about it. He's not got in touch with us. Uh, he's not given me any reason whatsoever to he's say. Not rebutted it, so he's basically yeah. agreeing with us. Yeah. What, what, yeah. In law, what is not rebutted <coughs> is not denied. Yeah, that's, that's, that's in the range. So that he, he, he's, he's committed high treason by not doing that. Uh, anybody in denial of uh, uh, common law, it's sedition by common law, and it, it carries full asset stripping and life imprisonment. Yeah. This is what the police. A few of it. Now, basically, point, you're in the wrong jurisdiction. Yeah. What we want is what we're trying to do is to educate you. As the gentleman just said, there, you are being cursed into uh, <coughs> criminal acts now just by being here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you following an act? You, you think own, you think right? we're joking? You better think again, because we're, we're if you don't bring Gareth Wrigley here, because we're serious. not moving. If you don't bring Gareth Wrigley, we're going to make his citizens. Let's Gareth Wrigley here. Yeah, 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 treaties, we're constitutions, everything that we can back up, we can back it up with yeah. black and white. Yeah, then we're going to put you on, on the rest of the pace. Okay. So, so, right, let him speak. So it's Pat Cobby, and the manager has asked you to leave. We're not leaving. 
It's a licensed premises and they do have the powers to do no, that. No, you don't. This is a public... Whether you agree with it or not, no. that's right. fine. Can, can, I, can, I, can I speak to you now, please, sir? Yep. Right, so basically you're out of your jurisdiction. You stand under the Maritime Admiralty Law, which is law of the sea. You're out of your jurisdiction here. We have more yeah. authority than both you two and the rest of your and, force. And we can, yeah. and we can prove this and Sorry we can make that. citizens arrest too. Exactly. So we're trying to educate and we're trying to get you guys on board to see sense. There's been mass fraud and corruption. This is medical fraud. This is economic fraud. Right, we have more authority. We are living men and women. We don't stand by our birth certificates. You're out of your jurisdiction. We stand on a common law, universal law, which is law of the land. You are working, and as an officer, and we respect you guys, and you've got that uniform and you have no rights. You have obligations and roles, and that is it. Right, hold on. So you're out of your jurisdiction here. Are you going to help us or are you going to leave? So, as you can see, there's no breach of the peace here. We are peaceful and lawful. Yeah. You know, we're, we're trying to do something that's respectful to you guys, to everyone else. We're sticking up for everyone's rights, including you. Like, the government has been lying to you. Your superiors are lying to you. Can I just say something? So now he's presented you this stuff. What is it you want to achieve with the Chief Inspector? What we Inspector? want now is you, for you, because you're responsible now, because we put you on notice. Put you on notice You've got to bring Chief Inspector Gallup Wrigley here now. Yeah. Because uh, now, if you don't act on what we've asked you to do, you could be held personally responsible in your personal capacity in a common law court with 12 of my peers. And it won't be, you won't be able to hide behind the police force. It'll be you as your, as, as the living man yeah, and you yeah. as a living woman. Personal and and if, you, if you read back on your office of constable, yeah? If you read back on it, I've got it right now, I can show you if you want. You are classed as an ind independent individual, so you can be held liable. Yeah. And you won't be able to hide behind the uniform. Yeah. Under that uniform, you have no rights. If you took that uniform off, you have exactly the same rights as us. But under that uniform, all you have is obligations and roles. And that's what you have to stick to. So now we have given you something to go to your chief inspector with. If you do not act on that, now we've got your name and your details, we can hold you personally responsible in a common law court, and that is the plan. Yes. We're trying to get you guys on board, but we're giving everyone two weeks now. Anyone that doesn't get on board and start helping with this lies, this corruption, you've been, you're going to be uh, classed as complicit.